I'm from St. James in this little town called Wales Bond. I went to the Montego Bay High School for Girls, then I moved on to Montego Bay Community College, and then I did my first degree in Marketing Management Studies at the University of the West Indies. After UA, I did an internship for a couple of months at JMMB. Then after leaving JMMB with a good amount of knowledge, good amount of experience in their marketing department and also in their IT department, I started working for KPMG in 2016 in their marketing and communications department where I was in charge of proposal writing and business development. And over the two years that I was at KPMG, my portfolio grew and I became in charge of account management and corporate sponsorship, digital marketing and social media marketing. After KPMG in 2018, I decided that I had a lot of experience in a financial sector working in their marketing department. So I wanted to do something different. And that is when I saw the TEFL website advertising teaching in Hong Kong. And of course I applied naturally because I am an English speaker and the chance to go and visit different countries, that's a part of my dream. I have a wanderlust, um, I have a wanderlust, so that is what I wanted to do. I got through with the interview in a matter of two weeks and in August I packed up everything I owned, my bag and pan, and I moved to Hong Kong where the culture was extensive and it was something it was kind of like a culture shock for me because you are seeing a lot of persons who are more dedicated to their religion dedicated to their ancestors and to their families and it's something that you don't really see to that extent in Jamaica and just the fact that I was a bit of an oddball there so everyone saw me as oh that's an interesting color that's an interesting hair is it real where are you from and they didn't know Jamaica they didn't know where Jamaica was so I found great pleasure in becoming an ambassador in sharing where Jamaica is on the map I found great pleasure in you know googling Jamaica and showing them this is what Jamaica looks like this is where Jamaica is located and my job in Hong Kong I'm a project coordinator for uh, an NGO so they place us in different schools to help um, be let them be more cultural aware so on my campus I'm in charge of planning and coordinating and executing English related activities so any events monthly events workshops chat groups I am in charge of holding that so that the kids will have a better chance, a better exposure of speaking English and interacting with different English cultures. Being in Hong Kong has afforded me the opportunity to travel and since then I've traveled to um, Vietnam, I've traveled to Phu Quoc and I've traveled to Bangkok and I've realized how much or culture is far reaching that every single place that I've been to once you say I'm from Jamaica they either start singing a Bob Marley song they say oh reggae they say oh you sing bolt and you feel that sense of pride that yes that is where I'm from sometimes I start singing along with them I was a Buffalo soldier in the heart of America Oh. Fighting on a rival. Fighting for survival. <laughs> I was a Buffalo soldier. And from the heart of the Caribbean. Singing. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 oi. And the latest thing that has happened was since I've been in here, since I've been here in Bali for. Um, about three days I saw a Bob Marley shop and they had some t-shirts and some other souvenirs of Bob Marley and when I went and I saw them like hey that's Bob Marley they're like yes where are you from I'm like Jamaica and I showed them my dreads and they started singing one love and I started singing with them and they were asking me if Jamaica is like what it is in the pictures and I'm like yes so I took out my phone and I showed them um, Google photos of what the beaches look like of what the mountain sides look like and I feel such sense of pride and joy when I'm showing them those things when I'm teaching the kids where I live how to cook certain Jamaican meals 
um, how we fry chicken, um, when I show them photos and images of how we do our ackee and saltfish, or whenever I'm holding cultural workshops at the Polytechnic University, and I'm teaching them how to do dances from Ding Dong and RDX, and you're seeing them trying to do willy bongs and fling your shoulder and all those dances. <laughs> The sense of pride that you get that such a small nation can have such a big impact on the world, it makes you feel really happy that you are a Jamaican. It kind of solidifies your patriotism. The first thing is go for it. I was really afraid to do it because of certain circumstances, because of certain ties that I had back home. But once you reach that point in your life, or you reach that point mentally where you realize that nothing should come between you and your purpose, nothing should come between you and your happiness, that is when you would decide that, you know what, this is what I've always wanted to do. Whatever dream you've always wanted to chase. Don't just say, I'm too old, I don't have enough money, or I have so many bills and everything to pay. Trust me, if you want to make a way, you will find a way. So whatever it is that you want to do, if you want to travel, if you want to see the beaches in Philippines, if you want to island hop in Indonesia, go for it. There are multiple ways you can do it. There are many ways online. So nowadays, it's not just about trying to save up all the money you can over two, three years just to reach to a place that you want to go. Look at jobs online where you can work and travel. You know, you can teach English anywhere in the world. Have multiple other jobs if you must on the side. Do something that you're passionate about so you can build your income base so that if you do want to travel, if that's something that you desperately want to do, trust me, after a while you will realize that nothing should ever come between you and your purpose or you and whatever dream that you have so dream big and chase it